it's Mrs. Sullivan and Mrs. Trombley and we're, we're coming at you with section 7.3 <laughs> volume of pyramids so far you've worked with volume of prisms in which you learned that you take the area of the big B the base and you multiply it by the height with um, pyramids it's a little bit different you're still doing big B times H big B H as you remember in class <laughs> but now we have to take a third of it because Every pyramid is a third of its corresponding prism. So I hope you can see these. They're kind of see-through so that you can see the oatmeal we'll put in them in a mm. moment. But this right here, its base is two inches by two inches. It's a prism. It has a matching top and bottom. This is a pyramid because it has a single base, comes up to a point, but the bottom of this is also two inches by two inches. Just like the top of this. So what we're gonna do is, and see there's proof. Oh. We're going to fill this, and if this is one third of that, can you guess how many scoops it will take of oatmeal to fill it? That's right, three. <laughs> so are you ready to watch? Mm, I hope so. All right. Here we go. Quaker oats. Mm. They lower cholesterol. They do. I eat my Quaker oats every day. <laughs> to help. <laughs> There's one. Hold it up. Hold it up. One. I have a feeling they're not believing us. I think so, too. Or they're using the bathroom right now because they're tearing us out. <laughs> And two. two, one more, mm. or we're big fat liars. Let's see. Oh, oh no, not the oatmeal. <laughs> now we're getting oatmeal all over Mrs. Trombley's Elmo. That's all right. She's gonna love Better than the tomorrow. lunch that was in the recycling bin today. Thanks, whoever did that. And the third scoop. Look, Look at, that. at that. So the volume of this is one third the volume of that. So if you take big B times H to find this, you would take one third of the big B times Which, H. Mrs. Trombley, did you know that one third of something is the same as dividing it by three? I actually did. Oh, because <laughs> you're a math teacher. <laughs> you know now too, right? All right, get your note sheet in front of you. The fun demonstration is over. I'm yes. gonna hit the lights. All right, you need your 7.3 notes that you were given in class today. They look a little something like this. Pretend you didn't just see my answer key. All right. <laughs> So when you're dealing with a pyramid, remember it's kind of like a prism, just without the top. So it's like the sides have to fold in. So the volume of a pyramid is one third, just like Mrs. Trembley and I just demonstrated, one third the product of the area of the base and the height. So here you see this formula. Without the one third there, that should look really familiar. The big B, remember that means area of the base. And what's that H you say? You know what that is. That's the height. So like we were just trying to explain that I know how much you don't like fractions. So that one third might frighten you just a tad. So here's another way of seeing that, that you can always take the area of the base times the height and divide by three, like we did with dividing by two for triangular prisms the other day. So let's go ahead and take care of our first example. So if you look, you are given a hexagonal pyramid. How do you find the area of a hexagon, you ask? Lucky for you, you don't have to. We're giving you big B is 48. So if our volume is big B times H divided by 3, we've already got that big B is 48. Our height is 9. And we're going to divide all that by 3 once we multiply it. So if you take care of all that in your calculator, go ahead, take care of it, take care of it, even though you're just waiting for me to give you the answer. You end up with 144. And again, since we're dealing with volume, we need units to the third power, or cubed. 144 millimeters cubed. All right, let's check out example number two. Here we have just a nice plain pyramid. It's got a rectangle on the bottom. So to find the area of that base, remember it's a rectangle, we just do length times width. So three times four, which is 12. So our volume is big B. Other way. Mr. There you go, got it. Trying to direct me, but we're getting our left and right next up. <laughs> big B, which is 12, times seven. Divide by what you ask, three. Three scoops of oatmeal. All right, calculate all that. Mm-hmm. 28 cubic feet, or feet cubed. All right, example number three. I know you're on the edge of your seat. I'm going to move the oatmeal out of the way. All right, example number three. Notice we have a triangular pyramid here. So our base 
is this triangle right here. And the area of a triangle, remember, is the base times height divided by 2. So I'm going to take 17.5 times 6, divide that by 2. When I punch all that in, I get 52.5. I'm not done because that's just big B. My volume is big B times the height of the pyramid, which is 10, divided all by 3, 3 scoops of oatmeal. All right, punch all that in. I shouldn't give you the answer. I should just wait and have you bring it in tomorrow. I think that's a great idea. Okay. We'll check your notes. We'll check your you notes. You better have it written down. And you better have the right unit. Check mm -hmm. you later. Bye. Bye.